Hello and welcome to our Switch Adapted Power Wheelchair Platform video. I'm Mason Pressler and I'm here along with Wyatt Sasek, Daniel Cernick, and Jack Walbridge. So for the Neum problem, this project was for the Barber's National Institute in Erie. The problem they had was they have students that are looking to purchase a manual or an electric wheelchair, but an electric wheelchair is very expensive. So the school does not have the funding to pay for such a wheelchair. So they needed something to replicate what an actual electric wheelchair would be without obviously the cost of an electric wheelchair and something that would make it possible for the PTs to transfer each and every student to and from this electric device. This is our customer criteria that we received from the Barber Center at the beginning of this design project. And we meticulously work to maximize and minimize certain aspects of this project throughout the duration. And these are the customer constraints that we received from the Barber Center at the beginning of this design project. And we also meticulously worked towards following these throughout the duration of the project. So this is some concept images of the final design. In the center is a just a quick view of the entirety of it fully assembled. And to the right are some sub views of electrical components such as the battery systems and the custom fasteners that we made in order to facet the wheels. These are the component parts. Step one features the frame casters and the base plate being attached. Step two are the sub components featuring the hinges, tie downs, and all the battery mounts and motor mounts. This is step three. This is all the final components to our part. We have the ramp, the, all the bumpers, the wheel assembly. This is where we will assemble the electronic components, the battery, all being covered with the motor and battery cover. And it also features a handle with an emergency stop button for the PT. For the electrical components, instead of doing a PLC controller, we are using an analog system. So to the left shows the ladder logic for the input buttons and the output buttons for the motors. The control layout is featured in the middle and it features the DC converter, an OR gate chip, four MOSFETs, and a breadboard. And the bottom left shows the motor that we're going to use, the Invacare M41LT. For public safety and health, the platform itself could be very slippery, so the barber center can cover it in grip tape if that's necessary. It features three bumpers, one in the front, two on the sides, which are good for impact loads. There's neutral levers on the motors that put the thing into neutral so if it needs to be transported easily and there's tie downs that are bolted directly to the frame to secure all the students to the platform. This is our local and global impact and we believe that this device could have a big impact on the Barber Center's community for numerous reasons and the first reason being that the student will have will be comfortable and trained in their own manual wheelchair and the second is the student's confidence. So for <clears throat> implementation and test, uh, we have a list of different aspects that we wanted to check and test upon completion of the full project. The most important one that we had chosen from the list above was that the motors saw proper voltage supplied from the battery. <laughs> So each motor should see 24 volts in total from the two 12 volt batteries, which we are using. And this is our cost estimate to produce this device. So the co total cost of all materials is $1,600. And the average shop in Pennsylvania, their shop labor rate ranges from 75 to $135 an hour. So we as a team think $100 an hour would be a fair quote to build this design to build this device. And we did receive a quote from two experienced tool makers and machine builders. And they quoted this to be a 50 hour job or one work week. And at a rate of $100 per hour, the total manufacturing assembling costs will be 5,000. So total cost of materials and labor will be $6,615 to produce. So lastly, with all of this information, including salvage costs and a mid-life refurbishment cost, along with factors such as the duration of the overall project and inflation rate, it was determined that the average annual cost would be $815. Mm -hmm. 